Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review, and today we're going to checking out Table Tennis Pirate Pong from Cortex Toys. This is for ages 5 plus, it's for 2 players, it'll take about 10 to 20 minutes to play, and in Table Tennis Pirate Pong, you're going to be slapping on an eye patch, grabbing your sword, and then trying to play ping pong, table tennis, with these pirate themed balls, knocking them over these plastic pirate themed net uh, nets. It is table tennis, but with the eye patch and pirate theme attached to it. Is it good? Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're gonna take a look at what you're gonna get inside of pirate pong. So first and foremost, we have a handy dandy rule sheet. Uh, it's just this right here. This is assembly of the net and where you can get extra ping pong balls, pirate ping pong balls, if you really need the pirate themed ping pong balls. Uh, but it's very short, very sweet, uh, concise, and should have you up and running in no time at all. Now, I'm not as familiar with ping pong as I would like it to be, but I feel like the rules for this are actually somewhat uh, very similar to the rules for ping pong, but somewhat more streamlined. But I could be actually wrong, because I haven't played ping pong in years and years and years. So in pirate pong, you are going to first put on one of these pirate patches to cover up your eyes, because that's the whole point of the game, is that it's going to be messing up your death perception. It does make the game more difficult, which also speeds up the game as well. These two are currently tied together, but you know how they work. You put it on your eye. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to construct this net right here. It's a plastic net, and uh, as you can see, it comes with three, one, two, three of these pieces that you will lock into place. And so what we did when I played it in my classroom was I only needed two of them because that was how long the table was. But if you had a bigger table or a round table or something like that, um, it, it will go pretty far. I mean, you're looking at a pretty good uh, length that this net is going to cover, which is nice. And the net's easy enough to assemble, and it feels... You know, it feels sturdy enough. It's like, it's the kind of plastic where, yeah, if I bit it in half, it would snap, but it doesn't feel like it's going to break or it doesn't feel chintzy, which is a good thing. Next, you're going to take your paddle, and these are really nice. Like, these are really, really heavy. Actually, a girl in my class got whacked in the face with one of these and had a, uh, a bloody lip just because she was too close to the table. Just, bam, caught her right in the lip. But that, I mean, that, oh, that hurts. Like, these are pretty solid. Component-wise, these components are nice, aside from the box. Let's talk about the box. box has a giant open hole in it, so you can see the sword, which is annoying. Should have covered it in plastic, but we'll talk more about that in pros and cons. And then from, from this point on, it's pretty much your typical game of ping pong where you're trying to knock it over the net. Now, obviously, I'm rolling a felt table right now, which means we're getting next to no bounce with these balls. But these really cool-looking balls do bounce uh, on hard tables actually really, really well. I was very pleasantly surprised with how that worked. But you're going to take turns. I'm going to serve twice. This guy's going to serve twice. You're going to go back and forth trying to be the first person to score 11 points, and once you get to 11 points, win by at least two points. You have to win by two points. Pretty standard ping pong rules, I'm pretty sure, and you can play as many games as you want. They recommend either three or five games per person to win, uh, best of three or best of five. But that, in a nutshell, is what you're going to do. So you're just going to be serving it over, and um, if you're not familiar with ping pong, you have to hit it on your side. So you have to whack it, hit it on your side, and then get it to knock on their side. And uh, you score a point if the other person is not able to successfully return the ball back to you, if the ball ever touches them. Uh, but they score a point if you, you accidentally hit the net instead of going over, or if it just bounces off the side. Like I said, the rules, uh, they cover this really clearly and concisely. But that, in a nutshell, is what you're going to do and what you're going to get inside of Table Tennis Pirate Ball. Alrighty then, Table Tennis Pirate Pong from Cortex Toys. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. The first and most obvious reason is that this is pretty much just table tennis, or ping pong, whichever you want to call it, with uh, eye patches and weird shaped paddles. I mean, that's, that's really the only difference. I mean, you have to know that going into that. There's no real strategy. There's no other strategy. There's no nuance. There's no cards. There's nothing like that. It's just pretty straightforward table tennis for the most part. Another kind of thing I have with this game is that you do have to have the right type of table to do it on. Um, but that being said, I tried it on hardwood. It worked pretty well. I tried it on plastic tables. That worked pretty well. So it's pretty much just felt gaming tables, I think, are going to have the issues with this uh, or smaller tables. Yeah, the smaller tables are also probably going to have issues, but you can play this on round tables. Uh, I did play it on a big round table, and then we played it on long, flat, rectangle tables. That one actually worked spectacular, I will say. But you do need to have the right type of table to accommodate this game, which I actually don't at home. 
So that is something that I did want to mention. You can't play doubles. You'd have to buy. Uh, you'd have to buy another set of it, or just get two more paddles to play doubles. So you can only play two players. So it is a very restricted player count. The box. The box is annoying. You know, I always hate when game companies like they want to show off the components, so they they put the big piece of plastic in the front to cover up the game. That always bugs me. So needless to say, when they don't even put the plastic and they just put a big hole there, that annoys me even more. Now, luckily, they do include a handy dandy Ziploc bag, so you know your eye patch and your 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 pirate balls and your little things, your skeletons that hold the net together, don't fall out the front. But that is still annoying. Any other comments that I have the game? No. No. I don't really have many. Moving on to the pros. Table Tennis Pirate Pong is good. I mean, it's fun. It's enjoyable. The kids in my class had a blast with it until I had to uh, cancel it for the day because someone got slapped in the face with a, a paddle and had a fat lip and was bleeding a little bit. But it was perfectly enjoyable. And I was, you know, I was skeptical at first. I'll be very brutally honest with you. I was incredibly skeptical. I was like, what? What the heck is this? This is dumb. These components, I bet they're going to be cheap. They're going to be chintzy. And they weren't. They didn't skip out on the components. I wish there were more balls included with it. Uh, like you can get the refill pack, which comes with six balls. But honestly, any ping pong balls are going to work. So you don't have to get the pirate ping pong balls. The nets work well. I mean, it is a little bit more difficult than you might like to put the little skeleton parts on there, but I feel like they're very locked in, secure in place. They're not going to break, which is good unless you're like really bend it. I feel like with average wear and tear, there's no reason why this game couldn't last you for a very long time. The eye patches feel like they're pretty decent quality. They don't feel like they're going to, you know, the, the things are going to pop out of the side. You know, I don't feel like they're amazing quality or anything like that, but they feel like decent quality. And in the end, it's it's pretty simple. If you want an at-home version of table tennis or ping pong, I think that this is not a bad way to go. I mean, you could easily just, don't tell them this, but get rid of the eye patches and just play regular table tennis or ping pong on a table if you would like. And I'm sure there's something out there that lets you do this already. I am 100% sure that there is, but I've never seen it. So to, for me, this is new. This is a new thing that, oh, it's like now I can turn any, you know, ten table that can bounce balls into a table tennis a, a ping pong table that's a really cool idea and i think that while this game isn't amazing and it's you know but it is really cool and, and the kids had fun with it i had fun with it until i had to stop and clean up blood and in the end table tennis pirate pong it's this simple do you want an at-home version two-player version of table tennis or ping pong with eye patches if the answer is yes then yeah check this one out easy recommendation aside from the stupid box which i hate uh if you don't then no i can't recommend this this is too this is very clear very clear oh it also says ages five plus i would agree with that because you know it's just it's just simply knocking the ball back and forth uh my son did play with it we played with it at the kitchen table which was really difficult because our kitchen table's like raised up high so we just kind of you know we were more we were playing the game we're just more kind of just having fun with it but he enjoyed it an awful lot so there you go. Table Tennis Pirate Pong Cortex Toys, one that I can recommend if you're in the market for an at-home table tennis style game that, hey, even includes some eye patches. And that's another thing that I didn't want to mention. I don't want to downplay the eye patches too much because I did actually like that element of the game. It sped the game up and it made things substantially more difficult. Like, you don't realize how difficult it is until one of your eyes is covered and you're trying to hit this tiny little ball. Well, there you go. If you enjoyed this review, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below. If you want to support the channel, click in the show notes down below. Click on that little Amazon link. Buy anything on Amazon. It throws a couple pennies my way, which really does help support the channel. And in the comments below, let me know. Did you know that there was, uh, or actually, were you aware that there were things that would allow you to play table tennis at home on regular tables? For me personally, no, I did not. And I honestly, I thought I was going to miss the net. I, was, I thought I was going to be like, oh man, plastic instead of a net. What's this? But I actually like it better. I feel like it, uh, it, it's less muss and fuss with the plastic net. But let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Did you know? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.